G'day folks, I'm Mick and welcome to another Ironman 4x4 workshop video. This here is epicness. Toyota's FJ Cruiser, I've had one of these and it was my favorite and in my humble opinion, my best four wheel drive vehicle I've ever owned. Supremely capable, um, very comfortable. The only issue I had was a little bit cramped in the back, but if you're two people over landing, the ideal vehicle. As epic as this vehicle is, there's always room for improvement. This vehicle belongs to a gentleman who lives in Europe. He comes out a couple of times a year here to South Africa and he goes touring. Botswana, Namibia, the whole bang shoot. He came and visited the shop the other day and saw some of our pictures and posters on the wall here in the shop. And he was inspired to get this vehicle, have it delivered here to us. And he's asked us to make it overlanding proof, make it an epic overlanding uh, vehicle for him and his partner. So that's what we're about to do with this vehicle.
And it's done. The FJ Cruiser is complete eventually. Um, I think it's turned out really, really well, and I'm pretty sure that Max is going to be stoked with the vehicle. Let me run through what we've done and show you the bits and bobs. This is the Ironman 4x4 commercial deluxe bull bar on the front. Vehicle protection on the front, very important. And underneath we have a aluminium bash plate. That's all about vehicle protection when you're bounding through the bush. In the bull bar we have an 9,500 pound Ironman 4x4 monster winch with synthetic rope. And we've also fitted some seven inch LED spotlights on the front. These are fantastic. Daylight when you need it in the middle of the night. Um, on top of the vehicle, for some extra packing space, we have a front runner roof rack. We have some recovery tread plates, those nice green jobbies you can see over there. The customer also asked us to hang a bar light across um, the bottom of the roof rack. It's quite discreet, that's just for some additional lighting if required. On the side, we've got a two meter Ironman 4x4 easy out awning. Max has also elected to take the awning room, which is a fully enclosed tent that hangs off that awning. It's got a zipped in ground sheet. It's very secure and a nice snug place to sleep at night. Along with that, he's taken some stretchers and some sleeping bags. I'm pretty sure he's gonna enjoy camping in that tent. We've also got a 20 liter jerry can on top of the roof for some additional water. Let's run around the back of the vehicle and show you what we've done at the rear. We have a Gobi X um, rear wheel carrier replacement bumper here. Very sturdy, very hard wearing unit. Same unit I've got on the back of the Cruiser. Just comes from an arduous trip through Mozambique and it was phenomenal. Swing out arm, left hand side we have a 20 litre jerry can holder. You can of course put uh, a 20 litre water can in here if you need additional water and if fuel is not going to be an issue. On the right hand side we have the spare wheel and we also have high lift jack and shovel for recovery and other stuff. Um, this wheel normally hangs on the back door of the vehicle and they tend to start wearing out the hinges. So always a good idea to take your heavy uh, especially if you go to a nice heavy three-ply off-road off -road tire. They tend to be a lot heavier and they do stress out the rear hinges on the rear doors. Best moved to an arm like this where it doesn't impact the rear door. Now the one thing about this vehicle is it has a reverse camera in the rear view mirror and the actual camera set in the center of the spare wheel on the back door here. So we've had to relocate all the wiring and we fitted a new a reversing camera down here, very important because rear wood, rear wood visibility on this vehicle is quite compromised. Inside, I might just unlock it first, like that. Inside the vehicle, nice big swing out door. We have shaped a 22 millimeter MDF board and covered it with nice marine grade carpeting here. It just makes it easy to attach some hooks to, so it's easy to strap stuff down and a just nice flat surface for packing. We have a 50 litre Ironman 4x4 fridge on a fridge slider, all bolted down, easy to pull out and get to your cold drinks and your food. That all plugs into wiring on the side here behind these panels. Speaking of wiring, let's quickly have a look at the electrical system. So follow me around. We'll just open the bonnet. Love this vehicle. Seriously thinking about getting another one. And if I did, I would set it up exactly like this. So what's happening under the bonnet? Let's quickly look at the electrical system. We have a second battery over here. The only issue is that you're a bit compromised with space, so only an 85 amp hour battery here. We have the Ironman 4x4 40 amp DC to DC charger. This will charge the battery up pretty speedily. Intelligent charger won't overcharge the battery. Very good piece of kit this is. What we've also put in this vehicle is a Victron Energy smart battery monitoring system. So it's not just a voltmeter. Remember there's a big difference between a battery having high voltage but low amp capacity. So you want to be able to see not only the voltage of the battery but also how many amp hours are going in and out of the battery and how much has been consumed since the last full charge. Very important. Now that system has a monitor on the inside of the vehicle which I'll show you in a second. Just another couple of things under the bonnet. This is the breather hose and breather stone from the winch motor. So if you've been winching and it's hot and you dunk into an ice cold river, it wants to then suck some uh, air from the outside into the motor. And if you're underwater, you'll suck the water in of course, but with a breather like that, you prevent that from happening. And exactly the same with the differentials of the vehicle. So this green hose over here and these two little breathers here are for your front and your rear diff. So from the front and the rear diff brought to 
the top here, dunking through deep water, you're not gonna be sucking water into the diff of the vehicle, very important. Let's have a quick squiz on the inside here. Aftermarket snorkel fitted snorkels, very important, um, primarily for dust. So keeping dust out of the air filter when you're uh, operating in dusty conditions. But if you're gonna be dunking in deep water, also very handy to move the air intake to way above the water level. And then the last thing that we've got going here is on the inside, this is the Victron Energy display unit. So very neat piece of kit, main battery voltage, auxiliary battery voltage, and then importantly is amp draw or actual current being put back into the battery when it's being charged. So you can see all of that and you can see the state of your battery. Currently the second battery has lost 3.6 amps since last full charge. It's at 96.1%. So that is, you know, it's way better having this than an actual voltmeter. Um, again, I just love this truck. I'm, I've got to seriously consider my next move. Folks, that's about it. Uh, Max is on his way here. I forgot the most important thing though. Now that we fitted all this gear to the vehicle, of course we have fitted an Ironman 4x4 foam cell pro suspension kit. I've owned this vehicle, I've had this suspension on it, it is phenomenal. It will go pretty much anywhere. As I said, I think Max is going to be stoked. We're expecting him in a couple of hours time and I really can't wait to hand over the vehicle to him. So a really great build, uh, very chuffed with it and I'm pretty sure that Max is going to be stoked. Love it. So Mick, if you want to make a video of the customer receiving his car? Yes. I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me take you through with what we've done. It's fantastic. Looks good.